NCM Learning Center. My friends, I am going to share a concept about precision rectifier. This is a precision rectifier circuit. Here D1 and D2 are diodes. Input is AC input. In the last posted videos, I explained about open with diode concept for the DC input cases. Here input is AC input. Okay. If you watch the last posted videos, it this concept will be easily understandable one. For any cases, if the diode is given, we have to check whether the diode is on or off conditions. Okay. Uh, here input is AC input. So we have to check the diode condition for the both positive half cycle as well as the negative half cycle. Now I am going to check the diode condition whether the diode is on or off for the positive half cycle. Okay. So to check the diode conditions, we have to open the diode and we have to find the open circuit voltage across the diode. If open circuit voltage across the diode is higher than battery voltage, the diode will be on condition or otherwise there will be off condition. Okay. These are, diodes are opened. This is the anode terminal, this is the gather terminal. Here anode terminal of diode 2, this is the gather terminal of diode 2. Okay. This is the open loop configurations. There is no feedback at the input terminals. So, uh, so the output will be either plus V saturation or minus V saturation. That means plus 15 volt or minus 15 volt. If V minus is higher than V plus, the output will be minus V saturation. If V plus is higher than V minus, the output will be plus V saturation. Okay. Here, input is positive input. Uh, v plus is 0 volt. Okay. Uh, for we know that we know that for idle characteristics there is no current flow through the inner terminal, so there is no voltage drop across R1. So V minus will be positive in. Okay, V minus is higher than V plus, so the output will be minus V saturation. Okay, the V A2 will be minus V saturation. Okay, uh, so V A1 here there is no drop. V minus is V in, so V A1 will be V in. So V A2. V2, V2 is minus 15 volt. K1 is directly connected at the A2. So, VK1 is equal to V2. This is open terminal. There is no current flow through the R2. There is no voltage drop across the R2 terminal. There is no voltage drop across R2. So, VA1 is equal to VK2. VA1 is equal to V in is equal to VK2. Okay. So, voltage drop across the diode 1. VAK1 is equal to VA1 minus VK1. B A1 is B K2 is equal to B in. B K1 is equal to minus 15 volt. Okay. So B in minus minus is that. So B in plus V set. Okay. So the always B in positive. Uh, v set also positive. So B A K1 greater than points 1. Always greater than points 1. Okay. So the diode D1 will be on condition. It is equal to a resistor across a points on volt. Okay. For voltage as a diode D2, VA2 minus VK2. VA2, VA2 is minus 15 volt. VK2 is V in. Substitute. So minus V set minus V in. So the voltage across the diode always less than points on minus value. Okay. So the diode D2 will be off condition. Open. Okay, now the equivalent circuit will be here the diode D2 open diode D1 is equal to a resistance across points on volt. Okay, output is here output is feedback with the input terminal. So this is feedback loop configurations. So V plus is equal to V minus. V plus is equal to 0 volt. V plus is directly connected with the ground. So V plus is equal to 0 volt. So V minus, V plus is equal to V minus. So V minus is equal to 0 volt. Okay, here output is open loop, output is disconnected. So there is no current flow through the R2 terminal. Okay, here V minus is equal to 0 volt. There is no current flow through the R2, there is no drop across R2 resistors. So V minus is equal to V naught. So V naught is equal to 0 volt. Okay, for the negative up cycle, we have to check the diode condition for the negative up cycle. Um, here input is negative input. There is no current flow through the inverting terminal, so there is no voltage drop, drop across the R1. So V minus is minus negative input. Okay. So V minus is negative input, V plus is 0 volt. So V plus is higher than V minus. So V8 will be plus 15 volt. Okay, V8 will be plus 15 volt. So open loop configuration. V plus is higher than V minus. So V8 is plus saturation, plus 15 volt. Okay. 
we k1 is directly connected with a2 so v a2 is equal to v k1 okay uh, for for v a1 for the calculation of v a1 and v k1 here there is no drop across r1 v minus is negative v in v a1 is directly connected with the v minus so v a1 is equal to v in v a1 is equal to v in negative value okay here is a open loop there is no drop across r2 so v a1 is equal to v k2 okay for the voltage across the diode d1 v a1 v a k1 is equal to v a1 minus v k1 v a1 is v in v k1 is plus 15 volt okay v a1 is minus input v k1 is plus 15 volt okay so this value is always negative value so voltage across voltage drop across the diode 1 always less than pi n 7 so diode d1 will be off open loop okay for the diode d2 vak2 va2 minus vk2 here va2 is plus 15 volt vk2 is negative value substitute here so vak2 is equal to v saturation plus v value okay so always positive so greater than pi n 7 so voltage drop across the diode always pi n 7 so the diode will be act as a resistor with pi n 7 volt drop on condition okay it is equivalent circuits here diode d1 diode d1 is off condition so open diode d2 it is equal to a pi n 7 volt drop a resistor across pi n 7 volt okay this is also a feedback feedback configuration so v plus is equal to v minus okay here this is the inverting amplifier or apply kcl at the junction we will find we will find v not is equal to minus v in okay so input this is the input ac input uh, output will be for positive half cycle v not is equal to zero okay so zero for negative half cycle v not is equal to minus v in if the input is negative input the output will be positive output okay input is negative input for for the negative half cycle so the output will be opposite okay uh, positive half cycle output will be zero negative half cycle input will be inversion this is the output if we use the diode rectifier without using up pump we will get the output points and all drop at the output side okay but if we use the up pump with diode rectifier we will get the exact input at the output side so that is why the up with diode rectifier is called as precision rectifier okay now i am going to check whether my discussed concept is correct or not by using the simulation software okay here this is the oscilloscope two channel oscilloscope uh, a channel is connected with the input terminals and p channel is connected with the output okay now i am going to run To know the output waveform, double click on the oscilloscope. To know clearly, we may pause the waveform. Okay. Here, this is the input waveform, channel A, input waveform. This is the, this is the channel B, output waveform. Okay. When the input is positive, the output is zero. Okay. When the input is negative, the output is inverse inver inversion of the input okay so from this output waveform uh, you may conclude that the out the discussed concept is correct okay thank you